Nach dem Erfolg von Steffen Siebmann kommen wir jetzt zum zweiten deutschen Starter. 20 Jahre ist er jung, aktuell die Nummer zwei in Darts Deutschland. Er war für Deutschland beim World Cup in Frankfurt mit dabei. Er hat am vergangenen Wochenende in Wien das Viertelfinale auf der European Tour erreicht. Es geht Schritt für Schritt nach vorne und wir drücken ihm hier für Leverkusen natürlich die Daumen. Die Rede ist vom Mann aus Berlin. The Wall, Martin Schindler! Martin bekommt es mit einem ganz etablierten Spieler auf der Tour zu tun. 43 Jahre ist er alt. 2014 stand er im BDO-WM-Halbfinale. Er kommt aus Liverpool, ist ein großer Fan des FC Liverpool. Und deshalb geht für ihn nur ein Motto. You'll never walk alone. Herzlich willkommen dem Com Robbie Green. Penultimate game of the afternoon session at the Happy Bet European Darts Open live from the Ottoman Arena in Leverkusen. Brand new venue on the European Tour, but the same response to Robbie Green's walk-on here in Germany. The crowd will sing this all afternoon at the 11. But we've got a game on as the number two from Germany, the wall, Martin Schindler, takes on the scouser Robbie Green for a place in the second round to face The number two seed, Peter Snakebite Wright. Robbie Green, Kong, playing in his specs. Martin Schindler, who's adopted this wall moniker from places called Strasbourg, just outside Berlin. And he comes into this tournament off the back of what has been so far perhaps a career-defining performance. He made the quarterfinals in the last European Tour, put in a very very impressive display against the diamond Ian White knocking out the seeded player convincingly 6-2 with a succession of sub-15 dart legs and if he can reproduce that kind of form here this weekend then do not rule out Martin Schindler having another run as hard as a game this is as hard as it would be against Peter Wright he's shown something in the last few days Martin Schindler that suggests that maybe he could take the next step in his professional career I'm Dan Dawson Chris Murphy alongside me Thank you, gentlemen. First leg is Robbie to throw first. Game on. Yes, yeah, certainly Martin Schindler. The highest hope for German darts in this tournament at least. Although Stefan Seatman's already beaten him too. The second round with that victory earlier on against Jermaine Watamina. But yeah, quarterfinals last weekend in Vienna. And of course the quarterfinals in the World Cup of Darts as well for Martin Schindler. Each of those occasions saw Michael van Gerwen bring an end to his run. 64. And he's a player that's improved, hasn't he? Just steadily, and that kind of run had been coming. Yeah, I, th I think it's fair to say that... 140. We knew Martin Schindler could play good darts. I think that performance against Ian White was the best we've seen from him. And the average ended up in the sort of high 90s in the end, but 140. for most of the game, it was over 100. Robbie Green is a very, very serious competitor he's not gone on and claimed a, a PDC title but he's not been very far away this year what a final run a semi-final run on the pro tour not seen that much of him on the European tour this year a couple of first round exits German darts masters and the German darts open yeah but just to uh, add a little caveat to that he did get drawn against Mark Webster and Mervyn King hmm. yeah The two previous tournaments he qualified for were not played too far apart, were they? Sindel Thingen and Gibraltar, was it within a week Six. of each other? Robbie Uruguay, 57. He's looking at 57 for this first leg. Well, he's landed 51 with a first start, so down to double three. There may be a case 54. for busting the score there, with Schindler not on a finish. Interesting. 
Yeah, I think perhaps that might have been the wisest decision because Robbie Green, you know Schindler can't go out on 170, and yet he's left himself one double one. This can, this can go all kinds of wrong. Doesn't like it, does he? That first start's in the way a bit. Gets oh, on the first wonderful leg. stuff, Robbie, Robbie Green. Green. Second leg is Martin to throw first. Game on. The Kong takes the first leg against Martin Schindler. One of five German players in action 36. today. 44 followed by 36. It's not going well so far for the wall. But in between those two 30. scores, Robbie Green only managed to score three. <laughs> Well, that did get in the first leg. Six. And his support for the German and the crowd here in Leverkusen, as you would expect. I mean, he's looking for victory here for Martin Schindler. 59. And today will go pretty much perfectly for the German fans wanting to see their boys do well because we know one player is going to get knocked out from the host nation qualifiers. That's just a formality because Alan Stein and Horvath are playing each other. But it does mean they would have three, as many as they could possibly get, bearing in mind, in the second round. But Schindler having lost the first leg. But also, Martin Schindler, victory here would further aid his qualifying chances 62. for the European Championship. Mm. Uh, much a run further than that would all but secure his place in Hasselt later this year. We have seen Schindler 85. a number of times on the European Tour, Gibraltar, the German Open in Saarbrücken, the German Darts Championship in Hildesheim, just picking up one and two thousand pound pots here and there. And then that Austrian 95. Darts Open quarter final, four grand there, another grand here. You're probably looking, realistically speaking, around that eleven thousand pound mark, twelve thousand to be safe by the end of the European Tour, the twelve events. Yeah, I think he sits on around nine now, so he's not far off at all for, from safety. Sitting about 20th in the European Tour order of merit. 99. Martin Uruguay, 120. PDC visits Shanghai next week. Can Martin Schindler produce the Shanghai finish? 100. Well, that Martin should Uruguay, do. 148. And it will do for Martin Schindler to get darts for this leg, but of course he's got to take it out. 60. Double 10 is what he wants for a level game at one apiece. Up for double five. Game there it is. Second. Maybe a long way away when you're Martin Schindler. Double five, that's top of the board, but he manages to pin it. Those are the longest journeys that are the most worthwhile, Dan. 60. Tell that to Darren Webster. And who? Oh, oh, there we go. Forget about Darren Webster's travelling travails. It's Martin Schindler with the first 180 of this one. Here's a man who, Fourth watching him in his walk on and his demeanour on stage, has an air of confidence about him now. Always looked the shy and retiring type up until these recent Six. weeks and months which have seen him kind of performing for German crowd at the World Cup and well the Austrian crowd last week 59 it's got to give you some confidence having had your best run in a senior PDC event and you know having crowds like this chanting it I, I did wonder whether his run to the quarterfinals perhaps coincided with him playing outside of Germany, where perhaps there's a little bit less pressure on him to perform. But what a visit from Robbie Martin Green, 177. Not enough to get to a finish. That is a bogey number 162. So Schindler should just stay on the trouble 20s. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot from Martin Schindler. Well, Schindler heeding the advice of Dan Dawson and leaving himself 32. All Robbie Green can do is try and apply some kind of pressure. 58. Not Martin really Green enough. 52. And Schindler to break. Game shot on the third leg. That Martin. is good enough for Martin Schindler. Martin break a throw and a 2 1 lead. And the crowd here in Leverkusen will tell you exactly what they think of that. Robbie Green, he's had that 177 visit, but all the visits around that could not buy a treble. Schindler. 140. Not suffering that sort of problem at the minute. 
Well, he was a bit shaky at the very start of this match, but he's nice shaking fight. it off. And now it's becoming a, a dominant performance, a devastating performance, stepping across. 140. Yeah, you do wonder with some of the German players which ones benefit from this incredible crowd support they get here in Germany as Kong finds another three treble visit. It gets him back in the leg, doesn't it? It doesn't really pile the pressure on because he's just batting it off with one of his own. That is good, isn't it? Kong hits him with a maximum. Schindler hits back with one of his own. That's what we what? want to see from players who are showing his potential. Want. They've got the bottle to stand up to an assault from a, an opponent. Standing up with a 12 dart leg. Nine Not score. to be. 1-2-6 one, one, for Robbie one, one, Green one, 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 to break straight back and make it two apiece. 19s is what he wants. Needs the treble. Gets it. Bullseye. 12 darter from Robbie Green. Robbie Green. What a leg of darts that was. Game on. A 180 apiece. And a 1 2 6 check out on the ball, and it was going wrong for Kong, but he's fought back and leveled up this tie. And we looked at the fixtures in this afternoon session, and this was one of those that stood out from the lineup. And it's already started off. 140. Has a belter. Ninety-three. I just went through a little spell there for a couple of legs where Robbie Green was struggling to find the treble. But he seems 100. to have found his range again, particularly on treble 19. And we've got a really competitive game of darts here. Averages both hovering around the 90 mark. 60. It was a, a perfectly crafted 1-2-6 checkout, wasn't it? The first dart placed above the treble. Perfect for a player such as Green 100. to follow up with the way his darts stand up. And then finding the smallest target on the board to complete the finish. Now, Martin AC3. Schindler would love to have a I shot at that well, target at the end of this. Two darts in the requisite trebles needed first. Not going to happen, but with Green on 1-3-1, one, one, well, he's not 41 off, needs to stay straight on the 20s. Oh, even better one. than that, gets the treble. Real pressure on this for Robbie Green. Ninety-one. Good setup. He requires 60. He's that stand-up as well, so it may be a case of stepping across here to find a clear route. He's just stepped back to compose himself. Can he lob it over the top and into the double? Yes, he can. Look at that. Use the V of the flight to find a way through. Game on. And a break back for Martin Schindler. Yeah, this is encouraging from Schindler. What we've seen there, we had a little spell where in that fourth leg, Robbie Green fired a maximum, Schindler chucked one straight back at him. All right, he lost the leg, but it was a 12 darter from Robbie Green. And then what does Schindler do? He comes back again at him. Puts in a strong leg, gets the break back. He's do, it, it's, it's hard for young players when they're up against established pros. And something goes not particularly right if they start playing well. For them to actually dig deep and find their best darts and find a way to just, you know, have a go back at them. But Schindler's shown us in the opening stage of this that he is willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man who, of course, is... You know, a major finalist in the BDI. Yeah, World Masters finalist, Lakeside semi-finalist, Robbie Green. 190. You mentioned he's wearing specs. That semi-final he reached this year on the Pro Tour, that was against Robert Thornton, mm. and Green disappeared from the board for a while to go and 65. find his specs. He was struggling at the start of the match. And uh, I think it was about 3-1 down, and he ran out of the venue, well, out of the section where his board was, and went to find his glasses. It didn't really do him any good, to be honest. No, Martin right. Sunder now, the crowd... 138. ...were egging him on to complete the 180, weren't they, to leave himself double one. I think he was genuinely considering it as well. 59. Last thing you want to do when your opponent's 44. back on 300 plus. You don't want to make life hard for yourself. Double 16. 
well. Lining him up outside, but he knows he will come back and looking to open up a two-leg advantage for the first time. Yeah, 50, 32 for Daylight. 32. For the crowd favourite. Now does have to step across, trying to open up the bed. Flight could be a problem. No score. Well, it couldn't have been much closer, but he will get more good. Yeah, Robbie Green, five visits to the board, not even down to a finish. He will be here. Oh, 85. Yeah. Martin Ricoir, 32. Should have been on two darts. He's going to have to use all three darts for the 115, Robbie Green. Might not get a go at it. I mean, he might. And he does. No score. Because Martin Schindler Robbie having some real issues on double 16. Well, yeah, very, very close. Yet so far. And Green wants double top for an absolute Game steal. Leg, 115 Green. checkout. Seven leg is Rob. And it's a mess of Martin's own making. Wow, how quickly that leg changed. Martin Schindler, hundreds of points clear. Having a little giggle to himself Game about on. potentially hitting a maximum to leave double one because he was in no danger whatsoever. But miss after miss after miss on double 16. And he has paid the price. 93. Doesn't seem to have dulled their enthusiasm for the little man from Strauss. Ninety-one. Always pioneers of exciting darts chance. Just Martin, Martin, Martin. Forty-nine. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, now they've added the surname into this yeah. particular rendition. And an Ole, come on. 60. Build your own chance here in Leverkusen. And Robbie Green adjusting the specs. I wonder if at some point in this match he'll ditch them. Do the kind of reverse to what we saw in Wigan. Well, maybe... Maybe he needs one of those 42. Andrew Gilding specs straps just to make sure they're in a consistent position throughout the game. Was that what they thought? I, I was I always thought. It might it just be a fashion state. 100. I believe it was so you don't ever lose them. Well, you just hang them around your neck casually. 58. Andrew Gilding, the Edgar Davids of darts, not here this weekend. He's not, and the man who conquered him last time we saw him in the European Tour is through to the second round once again. Six. Stefan Zietman. Martin Schindler's compatriots. Well, again, Robbie Green is having a leg 39. to forget. 220 points left after five visits to the board. I mean, it didn't really matter in the last one because Schindler could not kill the leg off. Well, it looked like a leg to forget last leg, didn't it? Well, it was until the last three darts. Turned out to be a memorable one. And potentially a crucial one. And Robbie Green just making some changes, a new flight, maybe a new stem. Well, what he would love to do right now, having made Martin Schindler, who's missed a handful of darts in the previous leg, make him work for all this time and then go in and smack in a high score. Well, it, it might be a clever little tactic Six. that from Robbie Green. He's only scored 60 himself, but he is down to a finish. He knows Schindler has been struggling on double 16, which is why he's left tops this time. Double 10. And there it is, Martin Schindler. Wow. I think it's Martin to throw first. A real glare over his shoulder. Game on. The only person he's angry with is himself for all those misses in the previous leg. But he does break back. It's five consecutive breaks of throw we've had in this game after a couple of holes to start things off. We can see anger from Robbie Green then as Six. well. He picked up, I think it was some sort of chalk that he has to get extra grip on his fingers and he threw that down on the table. And he's angered himself. And sparked an aggressive visit of a 180 at the start of the leg. It's been a funny old game where Schindler seems to have made 60. most of the running, but there's nothing in it. Yeah, it's a, a curious, curious game of darts, this. And Robbie Green 
Are we giving the slow zoom in as if we thought the nine Whoa. data was going to happen? And obviously it isn't. Well, both of those darts bounced off the barrel of the one that was in the treble 20 bed, so he was unlucky not to have amassed a much greater return 50. for his efforts there. Schindler, nine darts without a treble in this leg. And again, Robbie Green looking good to break the Schindler throw. 85. 85 off. That's enough to get to a finish. Well, he's had 115 and 126. 140. Neither of those required two required trebles. This one would, but he doesn't need to take it out. But he might anyway. Again, just feathering off the other dart. But sets up nice the shot nicely. Yeah, a lot better stuff from Robbie Green. He's had a couple of nightmarish legs on his own throw, but he's done well to keep bouncing back and having a go at Martin Schindler. Real ding-dong battle, this one. 58. Robbie Uruguay, 40. Tops for 4-4. Four, four. Robbie Next Green, his favourite once Robbie more Green. for this one. Ninth leg is Robbie to throw first. Get him on. But again, at the beginning of the next leg, he's kind of oh, folding. 47. Not a single dart got anywhere near the intended target. I don't know. I mean, I don't think we have these stats to hand, but I'd be fascinated to see Robbie Green's average on throw compared to his average against 95. the throw. Because I would imagine there could be a gulf of, I don't know, 30 points maybe between them. I mean, it is, it is enormous. Six. On his own throw, it's been pretty woeful, but he keeps bouncing back and fighting back. And the pendulum perhaps swinging in Martin Schindler's favour again, but he has to take advantage of the mistakes. 59. And in this leg so far, he's not really doing it. He is ahead, but that has been extinguished already. 98. Ninety-five. One treble per visit. Now he's looking pretty good. Ninety-three. Well, that's what Green gets as well. But if Schindler does the same, he'll find himself on a finish. He's got a treble already. Now he might not be too happy with just one in the visit, having found the dart with a first in the treble twenty bed. And he doesn't just get one treble in the visit, he gets a couple. Well, Green was ready to throw there. Hey, he probably could have done. I mean, he threw out the board, he's going to go way over Martin Schindler's head, even if he's going for double three. Shades of Taylor and King all those years ago. Now then. 133. 133. 180. Leaves him 70. Schindler, a real chance. What a shot this would be. Needs to find the treble. Doesn't find the treble, and Robbie Green, 44. an opportunity. In fact, he's not put as much pressure on as he should have done there, Martin Schindler. 70 then for Robbie Green. That leaves 52. That leaves 32. And that it's leaves Robbie, Robbie Green, Green within one leg of knocking out Martin first. Schindler, Game on. the top German player in this tournament. This is the first time that Robbie Green has led in this match. It has taken nine legs for that to happen. 96. And Martin Schindler now has to win back-to-back -back legs. He has only managed to hold his throw once, Martin Schindler. And he is coming under pressure already in this one. Stefan Seatman, the host nation qualifier, through to the second round with victory over Jermaine Watermaina. It took a last leg, decided to do that. We know another German will join him in round two as Robert Allenstein and Dragutin Horvat face off this evening. Can Martin Schindler make it three Germans in the second round of the Happy Bet European Darts Open here in Leverkusen? Yeah, and interestingly how the games have gone today, the first four games, absolute rabbit. For the winners, three six twos and a six one, but the last couple have gone all the way, and this one is looking very likely to follow. Well, it could do. Ninety nine, and that means that Schindler gets two visits from one four five. Well, 
Well, he wanted the 25. 54. Because he saw 105 scored, would have left double top. As it is, he may only get a dart at the bullseye, depending on what route he goes. May not get a dart at all when he returns to the board. As he looks to take us all the way. Well, the route that he goes may depend 92. on the score of Robbie Green 91, here. 91. Green is on a finish that requires just one treble in the combination to get a dart at double. This has to go for Martin Schindler. He's gambled. And he's found a treble. It hasn't been kind to him, double 16 in this game. But what he really needed it, he hit it. And Martin Schindler takes us all the way. Third match on the spin, forced to a last, last leg decider. Will Martin Schindler keep the perfect record of German players today in front of the home nation crowd here in Leverkusen? It is fair to say that whoever has thrown first in a leg, well, I mean, it's been no indication of who's going to go on to win it. If anything, it's been more likely that the other guy would. This hangs in the balance. Martin Schindler, quarter-finalist last weekend in Vienna. His best ever run in a senior PDC event. Can he get through this one and set up a clash with the number two seed, Whoa. Peter Wright? A ton, it keeps him pretty much level pegging with Robbie Green. And of course, Robbie Green hasn't got past this stage this year yet. And his... European Championship 84. qualification chances are very, very slim if he falls by the wayside again. Schindler needs to stay with him, needs a treble. Gets one last start. Who can set up the shot better from here? It looks like Robbie Green. It looks like Robbie Green, what a time for a maximum, his third of the game. Leaves him 41 for the match. Well, Martin Schindler can only hope to apply some pressure. What He's applied some, but Green, 9 for double 16. It is. And Game Robbie shot. Green Herman. takes it out. Robbie a 14-dart leg, enough for the Scouser to hold off Germany's number two. He was behind for the vast majority of that game, Robbie Green. But on taking a 5-4 lead, somehow managed to get over the line. 180 crucial in that deciding leg. Averages very little between them, both in the high 80s. But Robbie Green's finishing of 75% proved to be the decisive factor. And Kong will take on Snakebite for a place in the last 16. That match will be on the way tomorrow. We've got one more this afternoon for you. As Superman, Matt Clark, takes on the dream maker, Dimitri Vandenberg. The young Belgian has been practicing his dance moves backstage over the course of this afternoon. I think he can probably predict what you're going to see on stage in a moment. So, Robbie Green verschenkt alles, was er hat. Do you still have flights and, and, and stuff? <laughs> Robbie, congratulations. This, this last 180 in the deciding leg, that was an important one, wasn't it? Yeah, it, to be fair, it, it, it saved me from going out to tournaments. Uh, I, knew, I knew I had to score big to try and put the pressure on, and that's what I've done. And... But Martin is a good lad, isn't he? He's, he's playing better and better. On your PGL last week, this is the quarter-final. It's, it's a good development he's taking. I didn't know him when he first started coming over to England to start playing in the UK tournament, so over on the Pro Tour, but my word, he hasn't half come on. He, he seems to be improving all the time, and I, I watched his games in the World Cup with Max, and that double tenny pulled out. My, uh, it was, well, it was the dart of the tournament for me. I'm looking forward to your next match because this arena will be crowded next time with your walk on song. We will have a, a nice moment. It's always, it's always great to, to walk on here with you, never walk alone. I mean, it's a big week for Liverpool this week with uh, obviously six people being held accountable for what happened at Hillsborough. And uh, it's, been, it's been a big week for us. Uh, so hopefully I have a good weekend and I can wear the shirt with pride with the 96 on the back and do what I can. Obviously, I'm playing Pizza right next game. Fantastic player, a really good friend of mine. I'm actually going down to mind his house in August uh, while he's away. So, yeah, I'll have to set a few traps up. 
<laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Robbie Green. Der sagt, es ist eine wichtige Woche für alle Liverpool-Fans, deshalb genießt er es umso mehr, auch auf, den, auf die Hymne seines Vereins sozusagen hier einzumarschieren.